Good evening. You're watching the news from Bahrain Television. I'm Marie Claire. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudebiya Palace today a number of senior members of the royal family, along with a, a number of officials and businessmen. The meeting was also attended by Kuwait Ambassador to Bahrain and Dean of the Diplomatic Corps, Sheikh Azam Mubarak Al Sabah. His Royal Highness stressed regional developments require a special mechanism for bilateral, regional and international cooperation and noted the importance of official meetings in finding solutions to overcome the challenges that face the region's economy and security. He stressed the significance of meeting in reinforcing Arab unity and reinforcing their capability to deal with dangers threatening the Arab nation. His Royal Highness highlighted the deep-rooted relations between Bahrain and Kuwait and the developing joint cooperation in various fields, noting Kuwait's support for the kingdom at all levels. The meeting also discussed local issues and His Royal Highness commended the contributions of Bahraini personalities in reinforcing the national march and the sacrifices of people to protect the country and its unity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa paid a visit today to the Ministry of Housing. On arrival, His Royal Highness was received by Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Housing Minister Basim Al Hamar and Senior Ministry Housing officials. His Royal Highness highlighted recent achievements in the housing sector, including the swift allocation of 3,000 units since the holy month of Ramadan, and instructed the Ministry to allocate an additional 3,200 units in the coming months. He noted the Ministry's efficient and fast-paced housing drive serves as a model for delivering projects that directly contribute to further improving citizens' living standards. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also stressed Bahrain continues to prioritise citizens' interests, remarking that it is through the combined efforts of all that development challenges can be fully addressed. He went on to praise the dedication of the Ministry and its staff in their efforts to fulfil His Majesty the King's directives to build over 40,000 housing units across the Kingdom in the coming years, and commended the Ministry for the leading role it plays in advancing housing and urban development projects across the country, in line with the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness stressed that meeting citizens' aspirations and further improving public and housing services have and will continue to drive the government's action plan over the coming years. He noted that advancing housing development remains a key priority of the Kingdom's broader infrastructure programme and investments across key sectors under the GCC Fund programme. His Royal Highness stressed the important role played by His Majesty King Hamad's comprehensive development programme in achieving the goals of Bahrain's next developmental phase. The new advanced phase is underpinned by Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030 and its principles of sustainability and fairness to accelerate growth and improve Bahrain's long-term development pros prospects. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince emphasised the importance of facilitating public-private partnerships, which he said will help provide adequate public services and boost the Kingdom's long-term sustainable development. For his part, the Housing Minister expressed his gratitude for the Crown Prince's visit and affirmed the Ministry's commitment to fulfilling His Majesty the King's directives. The Minister highlighted the Prime Minister's ongoing support to housing services projects that ensure citizens' needs are fully met.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa received today at Gudebia Palace the successful candidates of the second intake of the First Deputy Prime Minister's Fellowship Program. His Royal Highness stressed that continuing to invest in Bahraini citizens is a strategic goal underpinned by the Kingdom's national programs, adding that Bahrainis are the cornerstone of the nation's sustainable development under the leadership of His Majesty the King. He welcomed the new fellows and highlighted the success of the first intake of the program, noting the significant level of skills and expertise they developed and consequently brought back to their workplaces upon completing the program. In this regard, His Royal Highness emphasised the importance of supporting the Kingdom's youth, who are at the heart of Bahrain's prosperity and future. He expressed his hope that the Fellows would capitalise on the many opportunities facilitated by the programme and boost their skill sets and expertise to help achieve their personal goals and ambitions, adding the opportunity would enhance the candidates' performance once they returned to their posts after completing the training programme. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the importance of improving leadership and analytical skills of the Fellows, saying they would greatly benefit from the conducive environment offered by the programme. He also stressed this would give them the ability needed to become future leaders and contribute to increasing the proficiency of the national workforce and government employees. His Royal Highness went on to extend his appreciation to the Fellowship administrators and staff on their continuous efforts to achieve the programme's directives and underlined the importance of supporting programmes and initiatives that further bolster youth skills across the government. The Fellows extended their appreciation and gratitude to His Royal Highness for the opportunity to meet with him and for his commitment to developing the national workforce through his continuous support to training schemes and programmes. They also voiced their appreciation to the Office of the First Deputy Prime Minister for the support they have received. The personal representative of His Majesty the King and Chairman of the Higher Committee for Media and Telecommunication, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamid Al Khalifa, paid a visit today to the Information Affairs Ministry, where he was received by Minister Ali Adrumehi and several officials. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah affirmed the support and follow-up of His Majesty the King to visual and audio media, in addition to the press thanks to its contribution to the success of His Majesty's reform project. He asserted commitment to developing the media sector and granting it more support, freedom and independence to keep up with Bahrain's urban and developmental achievements. He commended the efforts of Minister al Rumehi and the Ministry's officials in enhancing media strategies and developing the official media institution through modernising the radio and television studios and the Bahrain News Agency that perform their effective role in conveying Bahrain's picture. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah, accompanied by the Minister and a number of directors, toured the radio and television buildings and the news centre, where he was briefed on the duties and responsibilities of each of the departments. His Highness thanked the Ministry's officials and staff for their commitment to achieving further advancement for the institution and for their efforts in serving their country. For his part, the Minister of Information Affairs expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad confirming his visit is a motivation towards further development and achievement in the media field. He highlighted His Highness's care and support to the sector, emphasising commitment to implementing his directives in order to improve the media field and portray the true image of Bahrain.
Under the patronage of Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Ministry of Housing organized a ceremony today on the occasion of signing contracts to implement housing projects in Eastern Hid City and the Northern City, financed through the GCC Development Programme at a total value in excess of $395 million. During the ceremony, seven contracts were signed with construction companies in the presence of Kuwaiti Ambassador and Doyen of the Diplomatic Corps, Sheikh Hazam Al Mubarak Al Sabah, UAE Chargé d'Affaires to Bahrain, Saeed Al Qutbi, Deputy Director General of Kuwait Fund for Arab Economic Development, ministers and senior officials. The Deputy Prime Minister said Bahrain's housing movement affirms the government's capability to provide 20,000 housing units through to 2018. He stressed efforts are focused on implementing the royal order of His Majesty the King to build 40,000 housing units for citizens in different governorates across the kingdom. The Minister also praised the role of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier in taking the necessary measures to implement His Majesty's directives. The Deputy Prime Minister expressed appreciation to Saudi Arabia, the UAE and Kuwait for their generosity, which affirms the strong cooperation and brotherly ties between them on social, strategic and economic levels. During the ceremony, contracts financed by Kuwait were signed to build 1,247 housing units and supervise the construction of, of another 1,645 at a total value of $293 million. Contracts financed by the UAE were also signed at a total value of $102 million. On the occasion, the Minister of Housing, Basim Mohammed, said, the contracts contribute to speeding up the reconstruction of those cities with housing and infrastructure projects. He affirmed the Ministry's keenness to achieve more gains in order to meet the aspirations of the wise leadership and Bahraini citizens. The Supreme Judicial Council announced the inauguration of two commercial courts which will become operational early September. More in this report with Shog Mohammed. The Supreme Judicial Council held a press release to announce the launch of a new specialist court for commercial disputes. This announcement falls in line with their strategic plan for the year 2020, which aims to support the investment environment in the Kingdom of Bahrain. One of their main initiatives is to develop a more focused approach to commercial dispute resolution, which in turn will benefit both local and international businesses. The purpose of this plan is to increase Bahrain's competitiveness indicators as well as its World Bank ranking. The jurisdiction of the uh, new commercial courts will be covering arbitration disputes, insolvency and debtors protection from creditors, as well as uh, international uh, uh, intellectual property, trademarks, 
um, as well as uh, construction contracts. This is to ensure that specialist disputes that have an effect on the investment and business environment in Bahrain is given uh, special attention and to ensure that it, uh, gets through, it gets through our courts very, very quickly. The Supreme Judicial Council is also working in cooperation with the Ministry of Justice to streamline the procedures of the courts. They plan to introduce a new and improved evidence system and employ electronic services that will help speed up procedures effectively and efficiently. As part of this uh, development program, uh, part of the Supreme Judicial Council's strategic plan, we also will be develop We have developed with the uh, Institute for Judicial and Training Studies (GLSI) um, a training program that focuses on major uh, construct uh, types of legal issues, in particular arbitration, construction, banking, fin Islamic finance, um, as well as various issue um, terminology, technical terminology that are relevant to commercial disputes. There, al there also will be roundtable discussions between the judges to uh, work through the important role of the judiciary in the support of investment um, and how to deal with complex uh, commercial cases in order to ensure that the judge is aware of the effect of his judgment on the commercial world. Hopefully, the Supreme Judicial Council will achieve these goals following their new strategic plan. For Bahrain News, I'm Shogh Mohammed. And here's Mohammed with the latest in business news. Good evening, Mohammed. Good evening, Mike Claire. Very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain TV. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,153.16 points, rising 1.38 above last closing. The rise was in the commercial banks, investment, and industrial sectors, and investors traded mainly in the services sector with 42% of total shares. 34 transactions included 818,143 shares, worth 239,835 BD. And now it's time to hand you over to the other Mohammed with the latest in sports news. Good evening, Mohammed. Good evening, Mayor Claire. Good evening and welcome to the Sports News on Bahrain TV. Central Center defeated Abu Saibah 4-2 in Group 3 as both teams qualified for the second stage of the fourth Khalid bin Hamad Youth Center's Fustal League and the first for People with Disability League. Ahmed Abdul Rasul, Ibrahim Al Mukla, Abdullah Abdul Wahid, and Mohammed Al Sakran each scored once for Central, while Jafar Al Banaya and Abdullah Mahdi scored for Abu Saibah. The results see Central finish as group leaders with seven points from three games, while Abu Saibah sit in second with six points. Psaitin and Isatan bowed out of the competition by finishing in third and fourth. <laughs> 